Hi, welcome back. This is Sanjay Kumar Verma from Unikaksha. So in the earlier session, we have already discussed how to provision a load balancer using of the Terraform. So in this session, we are going to discuss how to create a multiple instances using of the Terraform. Because we know that when we want to create a multiple instance in AWS account, so using of the web console, you can do, but it's a time taking program, right? So and one more thing, when you are going to assign the number of the instances in the AWS web console, so first of all, your internet connectivity should be good. And one more problem is here. So might be your job is there. That means you have to create 100 instances, right? And after six months, you lost the instance number 50. So one thing tell me, did you remember what was the AMI? What was the specification? What was the security group? Right? Obviously, no. So what is the idea? So you can write of your code in the Terraform and you can use any IAC tool. But in our case, this is Terraform and you can re-execute of your code. Then it will build only instance number 50, right? Which is destroyed. So this is the idea behind of this. So Let's see how to create a multiple instances using of the Terraform. So first of all, I will show you in the AWS web console. I don't have any kind of EC2 instance. So this is my Amazon dashboard and you can see I don't have any kind of EC2 instance in the Mumbai region. So this is my dashboard and I don't have any running instance. So what I want, I want to deploy multiple instance in a Mumbai region, right? So we have to write a code. So let we have to jump on my Linux machine. So this is my Linux machine. So now internet is connected. Perfect. Now you can see Terraform iPhone B. This is the current version of the Terraform. Okay. So what to do? We have to write a code. So <clears throat> let me go inside the Teradata. Right. So in the Teradata, I have a file provided.tf. So first of all, let me copy the provided.tf because it's a mandatory. I'm creating yeah, another directory mkdir instances right then cd teradata correct let me copy the provider.tf where root and inside the instances folder perfect just go inside the instance folder now you have the provider.tf because i want to provide a provision the resources inside the ap south one this is the mumbai region so here let me write a code right vim instances dot tf correct so I think you are already aware how to write a code. So first of all, you have to define the resource, right? Then you can share the detail of your resource. So here, let me go inside the insert mode resource. My resource name is AWS underscore instance. Okay, you can define the name of the resource like a web server one correct okay and now you have to share the ami data right what kind of ami you want to share so you can get the ami from your web console copy this ami 
you can choose any mi it's a your choice no one will stop you inside the double quote correct after that you have to share the instance type instance underscore type that is t2.micro this is free okay you have to share the key if you want to access of this instance like key underscore name right so let me check now which key is available in my web console right so go back cancel and here you can find out which key is available key pair key name is root wall key okay perfect root wall key perfect if you want to associate a security group you can share the detail of your security group so in any case when you don't have the security group so aws will give you the default security group right so without the security group you can't provision of your ec2 resource in aws web console so here we want to provision a multiple resources with same specification so we have to pass out a parameter that is count that is three that means i want to provision three instances with the same specification that means i want to have t2.micro hardware and this is the same ami and uh, it's a enough right so then you can close this okay wq correct let me do the ll right so you can view this specification correct so let me check now the internet connectivity dig google.com so i sorry i have my provider perfect so what to do we have to initialize of this terraform because plugins is not available in the current directory that's why i'm going to install of, of the plugins job done so when i will hit tree hyphen a so you can see plugins are there at this location so let me hit the terraform fmt perfect and let me validate if i have any syntax error then it will show me validation is pass then you can execute the terraform plan so you can see it's going to plan three resources so what kind of resources now you can check out plus symbol is there it's going to create web server one right so now what to do we have to execute terraform apply we have to pass out the value yes now you can see it's a creating three instances 0 1 2 which name is web server 1 it still is creating now you can see resources that mean three resources added so i will show you on the aws web console so see this is the aws web console let me do the refresh and now you can see three instances running click over here and now you can see these are the instances perfect and uh, let me select of this instance right 
so every instance have a default security group right and like this you can provision of your resources this is the instance id of okay so if you want to access of these instances you have to allow the ssh rule in the security group so like this you can provision of your resources so you have to pass out the parameter count you can view the code one more time so this is my linux machine so let me do the cat instance.tf this is the code correct so this is the idea behind of this you can pass out the parameter count and you can provision multiple easy to instances simultaneously in a same region so thank you so much